Hi everyone, welcome to Catherine's Plate. I'm Catherine. I want to thank everyone for coming to my show today. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're not a subscriber, I'd like to welcome you and I hope you'll hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification so you'll always know when my shows are posted. Today I am taking these beautiful peppers. Now, the green ones actually came out of my garden so I'm pretty excited to use those. The colored ones that I have growing aren't producing yet, so I got these pretty peppers right here from Costco. So I got a red and a yellow and an orange one that I'm going to be using today. I'm going to take these peppers and I'm going to stuff them with a mixture that's going to be so delicious, y'all. So if you're ready, let's get started. All right, so I'm gonna go over all the ingredients that we're gonna need. Now, I've got my bell peppers here. Now, everything here is basically gonna fill about four bell peppers, four to five. So, I've got five bell peppers here that I'm gonna be using. One pound of ground Italian sausage. I've got salt, pepper, Italian seasoning. I've got an onion. I'm gonna be dicing about half of this one cup of shredded cheese this is for the end of it for the top of it i've got one can of diced tomatoes and green chilies this is a rotel now you can use plain tomatoes you can use tomato sauce whatever but as long as you have about one can of it i've got some minced garlic parsley one cup of cooked rice and I've got some Parmesan cheese that's going to go into the mixture. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. All right, y'all, so to get started, what I like to do is parboil my peppers a little bit because if you put them in the oven just like this, they don't soften up very well. So I like my peppers kind of soft once they come out. So what I do, cut off the top, as close to the top that you can get. And then I just take my knife and I go around the edges of the membrane and break it loose. And then I just pop it out, just like that. Now, if there's any extra membrane in there that you want out, just kind of peel it out. All right, so I've got a pot of boiling water with a little bit of salt in it. And I'm gonna go ahead now and put my peppers in. And I'm just going to spin them around every so often. These are just going to cook for about five to seven minutes, y'all. That's it. And while we're cooking these, we're going to go ahead and start our mixture. Got my skillet on a medium high. I put some oil in it. I'm going to go ahead now and add my half of an onion that I've diced up. Oh, did y'all hear that sizzle? There we go. All right, the next we're going to add our one pound of our ground Italian sausage. All right, let's take that paper off here. I've got my handy dandy meat grinder here that I love. I use it for any of my ground meats that I'm browning up. And you just push it into the meat and twist. And it breaks up your meats for you. You can use this on ground beef, ground chicken, ground pork, ground Italian sausage, anything like that. I'm just going to keep breaking it up and we're going to brown this up and I'll be right back. Alright, so at this point, now is a good time to go ahead and put your oven on 350 degrees to heat up. Alright y'all, with those Italian blend sausage, smelling so good. It almost smells like a pizza going on in here. Alright, so while that is done, I'm going to go ahead now and add one tablespoon of minced garlic. We're just going to cook this down for one minute. Alright, at this point we're going to go ahead now and add our tomatoes. Now you can add tomato sauce, you can add diced tomatoes. I'm using kind of a rotel blend here. And, oh, you can see that? There we go. It's a green chilies and diced tomatoes, so that's going to go in. 
Now let's go. This is a 10 ounce, 10 ounce can that I'm putting in there. As I'm putting that in there, I'm going to go ahead now and season with some salt and pepper. And some Italian seasoning. About a teaspoon or so. Now as you're mixing this up and simmering this, you can taste it along the way and see if you want to add anything else to it. All right. We're going to simmer this down for about five minutes, and as that's happening, we're going to start adding our cheese and the rice to this. Oh, it's smelling so good. Mm. So I'm using a Parmesan cheese that's going to go inside the mixture. That'll kind of hold it together. All right. Just kind of stir this together. Are you all imagining this, y'all? <laughs> All right, so I've got one cup of white rice here that I've cooked up. Now, I like to add my rice cooked. I know there's people that like to just put it in uncooked and let it cook in the oven that way, but I don't know if it cooks the way I like it cooked. So I always cook mine first and then put them into the peppers. All right, I guess I'm going to have to go get a spoon <laughs> and taste test this a few times, make sure it's where we want it, right? All right, let me go get a spoon. Taste this. Mm-hmm. Y'all, that are the flavors that I want in my pepper. Add some color to this, y'all. So I'm going to add some fresh chopped up parsley. Oh, it's looking so good in there. All right, it's smelling delicious. I'm right over the pot here. <laughs> All right, y'all, I'm going to go ahead now and bring my peppers over, and then we're going to stuff them, stuff them, and stuff them. All right, so I am buttering the bottom and the sides of a 9x9 nine nine baking dish here. Actually, a pan. This will keep the peppers from sticking. Now, you can use it if you want to add some little tomato sauce to the bottom of it, a little bit of the mixture, anything that will just kind of wet the bottom and the sides. So your peppers don't stick. I have my beautiful peppers here that I parboiled and I just put them in a bowl with paper towels on the bottom just to kind of drain them a little bit. And what you're going to do is you're just going to place them bottom side to the bottom of the pan. Now what we're going to do is take our mixture and we're going to put them into our peppers here and load them up y'all. All right, my oven is ready. <laughs> That's what that was. All right. Now, if some fall down to the bottom of the pan, that is totally fine, y'all. All right, push it in there. Get a good amount. There we go. Just like that. All right, so I have one cup of shredded cheese. This is kind of like a Mexican blend because I like the flavors of it. And I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit right on top because we're going to come back later and broil more cheese on top. All right, y'all, these are going in my oven for 20 minutes. It's been preheating at 350 degrees, and we'll be right back. These have just come out of the oven. Don't they look beautiful? All right, so after the 20 minutes, I pulled them out. I put a little bit more cheese on top, then I put it back in the oven to broil for about five to seven minutes until I got that golden brown color on that cheese. Then I sprinkled it with some parsley, fresh parsley. All right, I'm going to put one on my plate, and I'm going in. I'm going to turn this around for you so you can see all the goodness inside of there. All right, y'all, there's my bite right there. Can y'all see it? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Y'all, all those flavors in there, that Italian seasoning, those Rotel tomatoes, that cheese, the Parmesan cheese, the regular cheese. Oh my gosh, those fresh peppers that I parboiled so we didn't have crunchy peppers when we did this. So keep that in mind. Mm. Delicious. <laughs> go pull some peppers out of your garden or go get some peppers. Make this. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for coming to my show today. Make sure you give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you like in your stuffed peppers. And if you're new to my channel, 
make sure you hit that subscribe button down below with that bell notification and you'll always know when my shows are posted. Alright y'all, I will see you on my next episode.